how many of us are here on this afternoon, you'll soon get an idea of the diversity of this community gathered today and the depth, which is tremendous. So I'm Faye Cox. I am co-director with Ben Werner of Sama Group. And Sama is a Sanskrit word. It means same or equal, coherent, integral. So that gives you a good sense of the spirit in which we have called this gathering today. And um, we, we hold this to be true today, that in this room we have great depth of wisdom and knowledge and experience, and together we can collaborate to create amazing things happening in our communities. There are four counties represented, Santa Barbara, um, Ventura, Fresno, Marin. So what goes out from this room has tremendous potential and possibility. Again, thank you. Thank you so much for coming. And we have an aim for today that we're going to make very clear, and I think you will find it will set our minds at rest so we can work very well together. They were. Just waiting for the. Okay, the Sustainable Living Research Initiative by Nine Perk Term. And we just before we get into introduction and the schedule, the agenda, we're just going to grab your attention with uh, with the aim for why we're why we're here today. And our aim is to understand uh, what we would accomplish the Sustainable Living Research Initiative, how a project would apply for a permit under the initiative. Again, this is, this is about um, creating new options for how we interact with and develop land, per se. Uh, what ordinance or ordinances we would need in a jurisdiction to implement the Sustainable Living Research Initiative? And uh, how can we work together efficiently to collaborate as you'll see, many of the components of this are already exist in different forms or are already in the process of being created. Um, you'll see that over the next, over the next two hours. So, so really, um, I'm an engineer by training, so efficiency is something, something I like. So, so how can we efficiently collaborate and so that no one is reinventing the wheel? And as they, as they mentioned, uh, no, no, nobody here has all the answers to this. This is a fairly broad uh, matter. But um, so here's our schedule. Um, we're going to have each of our panelists, plus several other experts who are who have joined us today, briefly introduce themselves, um, and and then I will acknowledge uh, our, our elected uh, and representative and representatives in the audience. Um, so so we're just going to get right into that. And while we have about 20 minutes of introductions. So, uh, my name is Ben Werner, I'm co director of SAMA Group. Um, it's fun to be at the university right now. I, I graduated uh, from the university with an uh, undergraduate and graduate degree in electrical engineering. My passion uh, is larger than, than that, it's, it's really related to sustainability. And, 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 and especially in the context of this discussion, Sustainable land is how we relate to the land that supports us. And one thing that I that I observed is that we're kind of culturally now stuck for a long time in kind of a two-party system. By that I mean that we're either, um, by and large, developing land and and reducing or degrading the natural resources on the land that, that ultimately supports us. We need to support us, or we're on the other side of the fence trying to protect and conserve land. But we're doing it typically protecting it from us. The problem with this two-party system is that neither of these two parties is their future program. Um, so what I'm um, really taking a stand for in my message, what I'm, what I'm passionate about, is a third possibility where the human element actually, and how it lives with the land, human beings actually improve the viability of the natural resources that support us measurable service, groundwater quality, quantity, soil quality, habitat, and biodiversity. 
So uh, this is why I'm here. Um, the, uh, I, my confidence that this is doable is based on projects that I've seen or have been involved in that are doing this. Um, and if much of it is happening in the radar because uh, we don't yet have um, a regulatory pathway to efficiently support uh, any of the elements of, of projects that we apply to this. So I'm going to start, um, I'm going to start uh, on this end. Actually, and I'm going to start with our palace, and then I'm going to, and then I'm going to palace that you see named on our agenda, and then I'm going to move on to our extended palace. I, because I'm thinking about a, a book of experts. So, just uh, just one two minutes here. Yeah. Um, <coughs> Why you're here? Uh, I'll do that in reverse order. My name is Bill Kelly, Marin County Community Development Agency, um, and in Marin County, we like to think that we invest. <laughs> and I'm almost convinced that we did it. Um, but uh, part of sustainability in terms of the nexus to this effort, which I wholeheartedly support, has to do with looking at ways to reduce the regulatory impediments to being able to actually achieve something like this in today's regulatory environment in California. It's too small task. Meg West. I'm a planning commissioner at the city of Galena, and I'm also a landscape architect. And in 2004, when I graduated from my um, master's degree in landscape architecture, I really wanted to study gray water systems and composting and sustainable living. And I couldn't find anywhere to really do that in the United States. So I had to go all the way to Australia, where gray water systems were legal, and people were actually implementing sustainable living. And I came back with a whole bunch of information about how useful this is to protect the against the ground and to um, make development something that actually enhances the built environment, which is what I observed when I was over there. And what I see as the potential for the Sustainable Living Research Initiative is that Goleta and Santa Barbara County could have places where students like me who are interested in those things can go and actually learn hands-on best practices in order to implement these things that we so desperately need water and to improve the environment. So that's what I'm hoping to um, bring. He's also running for uh, Galita Water District. <laughs> <laughs>
so I'm Mark Fisher. Thank you, Sue. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no. um, so I work for the university, and my background is first as a landscape architect and as an architect, and somewhere along the way I wandered into administration in the university. So um, I actually come at this from a variety of backgrounds, and the university, this particular campus is about 1,100 acres. About 50% of that land is held in either uh, open space, wetlands, uh, reserve area, or protected space. So I believe that we're doing exactly what I think we're going to talk about today and I think about universities is the closest thing to a utopian community we can create because in a, in a sense where uh, there's a benevolence and leadership and we can do things that others can't do because we don't have the same governance structures as others. That doesn't mean that people don't have a voice or a mechanism whereby to do things, but it does mean that we can sort of move through things in a very different way uh, than most communities can. So the university has some unusual latitude that allows them to do good things. So I believe um, this particular campus has a, a good heart and is very concerned about how we balance uh, the resources, the open space resources that we have with uh, a growing population. Being exactly this, how do you integrate humans in the environment in a way that does as little or no damage to the environment? So you'll see in our master plan, which we call the Long Range Development Plan, a proposal to add uh, students, faculty and staff, but also proposes how we do that in a way that's sensitive to the context and surroundings. And um, I think it is uh, a highly sustainable model because it does look at all those systems in an integrated fashion. So, long way of saying university. <laughs> Ordinance, we had an opportunity to embrace 
the Sustainable Living Research Initiative that Ben Warner has provided to us, and we flooded that through our public workshops for the zoning ordinance, and it went over very well with the public. So it's included now in our um, administrative draft as we're preparing our zoning ordinance. Um, and so that's the beginning of a tool to um, start that kind of concept in our zoning, which will then ultimately you know, have a ripple effect in some of our other more specific regulations, but I think we're on a good course and it was kicked off by Ben Warner, so we appreciate that and we hope to learn more today. Hi, I'm Cameron Benson and I am the manager of the City of Santa Barbara's Creeks Division. Our focus there is water quality improvement, creek restoration, and we also do a lot of outreach and education efforts tied to those things. Um, a couple of the other government folks here today mentioned they're coming from kind of a traditional background. My background, I guess, started here at UCSB as a student when I, I agreed it was a utopian state. <laughs> well, I was here, that's what I remember of it. And, uh, <laughs>
first district 